COVID-19 vaccine has been instrumental in navigating the chaos of the pandemic, but unanticipated vaccine-related adverse events from large-scale vaccination have been reported, drawing the attention of the general population and medical professionals. Hello, my name is Lily Lee from Chennai National University Hospital and Chennai National University Passion Hospital. I'd like to introduce you about a paper we published in Mayo Clinic Proceeding titled COVID-19 Vaccination Related Pericarditis, the Korean Nationwide Study. On behalf of my colleagues, I consider it a great honor to share our valuable research research in Mayo Clinic Proceeding and I thank you once again for this opportunity. Recent studies have shown that mRNA vaccines are associated with the development of vaccine-related myocarditis or pericarditis, particularly in young adults or adolescent males. Our team also reported on the incidence and outcomes of COVID-19 vaccine-related myocarditis in Korean population by analyzing the nationwide data from the Korea Disease Control and Prevention Agency KDCA. However, unlike COVID-19 vaccine-related myocarditis, there has been a lack of studies on the incidence, characteristics, and clinical outcomes of COVID-19 vaccine-related pericarditis without myocarditis. Therefore, we investigated these aspects by analyzing nationwide data that includes the entire vaccinated Korean population. Korean government organized the COVID-19 vaccination task force adverse event investigation team under the KDCA to screen for all adverse events associated with COVID-19 vaccination. In South Korea, there is a legal obligation to report the special adverse events, including myocarditis and pericarditis after COVID-19 vaccination. All reported cases of suspected myocarditis or pericarditis following COVID-19 vaccination were reviewed by an expert education committee comprised seven cardiologists, one infectious disease specialist, and two epidemiologists. From this data, we analyzed the incidence of vaccine-related pericarditis between February 26 and December 31, 2021 among about 44 millions of Koreans who received at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. COVID-19 vaccine-related pericarditis was confirmed in 179 cases, representing an overall incidence of 1.73 cases per million shots. Vaccine-related pericarditis occurred more frequently after the second dose of vaccination than other doses and mRNA vaccines have more association compared to other types of vaccines. The incidence of vaccine-related pericarditis was significantly higher in males than females, and in individuals younger than 40 years of age compared to those older than 40. The incidence was highest in males between the ages of 12 and 17 years. Although no mortality was reported, a hemodynamically significant pericardial effusion requiring pericardial drainage was noted in 10 cases, counting 5.6% of the total. Our research revealed that COVID-19 vaccine-related pericarditis is very rare and occurs mainly in association with mRNA vaccines, particularly in males under 40 years of age. The clinical course of vaccine-related pericarditis was generally favorable, with no reported cases of mortality. However, we must remain vigilant as not all cases of pericarditis follow a benign clinical course and significant pericardial fusion requiring drainage can develop. We believe that the results of this study provide valuable information about the precise incidence and clinical characteristics of COVID-19 vaccine-related pericarditis. We also hope that our findings will contribute to the development of national and international preventive medical policies, even for vaccines unrelated to COVID-19 in the future. Thank you. We hope that you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mailclinicproceedings.org. 
There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel, www.youtube.com Mail Proceedings, or journal updates on Facebook, www.facebook.com Mail Clinic Proceedings. You can also follow us on X, formerly known as Twitter, available at Mayo Proceedings. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research, published by Elsevier Incorporated. All rights are reserved, including those for text and data mining, AI training, and similar technologies.